look at the fifth method of differentiation known as quotient rule known as quotient rule all right first things first what's a quotient a quotient is simply the result of division so hence quotient rule is used whenever you have two terms dividing each other um, for instance if I'm having 4 all over 2 here this gives you 2 so 2 becomes the quotient of 4 and 2 under division so we use quotient rule whenever I have two functions dividing themselves from the quotient rule idea if I'm given a function f of x expressed as um, a function u with respect to x all over a function v with respect to x so let's say u of x all over v of x at this point becomes quotient rule why because this is now dividing this u of x is dividing v of x so for this now the formula of quotient rule is that f prime of x which is equal to dy all over dx is equal to v du all over dx minus u dv all over dx all over v squared so this is my formula for differentiation using quotient rule v d over dx minus u multiplying dv over dx all over v squared we'll take an example on this and see how it works so for example let's say i have y being equal to 4x squared all over 6x plus 3 for instance i'm asked to differentiate this of course obviously looking at this i'm seeing 4x squared all over 6x plus 3 this is dividing this so it becomes um, a quotient through differentiation problem so how do you solve this first of all we say let u be equal to the numerator here that's 4x squared next up differentiate u with respect to x if i differentiate u with respect to x i will have du all over dx this is now equal to if i differentiate this i'm having 8x next up i will say let v be equal to my denominator here and that's equal to 6x plus 3. if i differentiate this i will have that dv all over dx is equal to this gives you 6 and of course constant is 0 so it's off from here now i will recall the product through the quotient rule formula recall that dy over dx is equal to v du over dx minus u dv all over dx all over v squared at this point i'll substitute values this is now equal to v the value of v is 6x plus 3 so i'm having v here as 6x plus 3 v into the u over the x the u over the x here is 8x minus u u is equal to 4x squared i'm having 4x squared into the v over the x the v over the x here is 6 i'm having 6 here all over v squared v is 6x plus 3 all squared so i'm having this substitution if i work on this this is now equal to um, i'm having 6x times 8x uh, that gives me 48 x squared plus 3 times 8x gives you um, 24x next up minus 4 times 6 gives you minus 24x squared all right so all over all over i'm having this as 6x plus 3 all squared this is now equal to if i take like terms i'm having 48 this is x squared 
this is x squared so that means they can subtract each other so if i have 48 minus 24 that gives you 24 x squared plus if i work on this i'm having 24 x so it becomes 24 x all over what i have here 6 x plus 3 all squared so i'm at this point here yeah? so at this point you could choose to factorize your numerator factorize the numerator and reduce to lowest term so if i factorize this now factorizing factorizing i have that dy all over dx is now equal to i can see 24 here i can see 24 here so i'll bring out 24 into i can see x here i can see x here although it's squared so i can see bring out x here so 24x becomes my hcf for the two of them if i divide if i divide 24x squared by 24x i'm left with x here plus if i divide if i divide 24x by 24x it gives me one all over bring in the denominator there to become 6x plus 3 or square at this point this becomes the answer to that question using quotient rule